Hi everyone, it's Amy and today we are doing empties. So I said a couple of months ago that I wasn't actually going to do monthly empties anymore. I was just going to wait till my bag was full and then do them. But since then I think I've actually been doing one a month just because naturally that's when the bag gets full. Um, let's have a look at today's bag. It's not doing too bad, it's just getting quite heavy. So I thought I would go through it, so let's just dive straight in to the rubbish. I have two shaving foams that I have my normal Pro Satin by Tesco's in the Wild Berry. Then when I went back to get this one, they were sold out, so I had to get the Satin Care um, Shave Gel with Aloe Vera. I literally find there's no difference between them other than this is treble the price. So um, if you want to spend the money, go ahead, but Tesco's one is just as good for me. Next up we have a shower smoothie scrub that I've been working on forever. This is the I Love Raspberries and Blackberries um, Exfoliator Shower Smoothie. Now I can't actually get this bottom bit out so I've decided to go throw it away. It's really nice, it's got those kind of like grain, almost like fruity bits in it. It smells really nice. The only thing I would say from like a homeowner's point of view is this is hard to clean off your bathtub. If you drop a little bit in the shower, it's really hard to remove. Not, it doesn't stain or anything but I just find that it's quite hard to to get rid of. It's quite hard to clean, but for the product wise, it's good. I wouldn't really buy it. Um, I'm trying to find something else for an exfoliator. I then have a pack of the Cucumber Cleansing Facial Wipes from Tesco's. I love them, buy them every single time. I actually have two packets of those. I just found another one. And um, I used up some toothpaste. Um, I'm not fussy with my toothpaste. I just buy whichever one is on sale. So this is the Aquafresh Active Whitening. Is it Colgate or is it Aquafresh the brand? I don't even know. It was okay. I used up a candle, this is the Barley Sandalwood and Jasmine, if anyone's watched this for a while you'll know that Sandalwood is my favourite. Um, this one burnt down pretty well, um, it's got the uh, Jasmines on the top and the Sandalwoods at the bottom, it's by Glade, you can get these in Tesco's, they're a really really good price, they last quite a long time, I don't know what the, oh 30, they're saying it's 30 hours worth of burn time, I would probably say it's a little bit more than that, these do last me a good while. Flowing on from candles, I showed you last month they had the little miniature um, Yankee candle and this month I burnt up Christmas cookie. Um, it was really nice and sweet, it wasn't too much, I don't like, really like bakery scents too much because they find them quite sickly, um, but Christmas cookie was quite nice. Um, I then went through in the same as what I had showed you shower scrub, I love raspberry and blackberry um, body butter and if anyone has one of these, look I've got a little bit left but... I've had it for such a long time. Um, if anyone who has one of these containers, you know this takes a long time to go through. But I really did like this. I possibly would repurchase, but I've got so many other body creams going on. I don't need to. But that this is really good. I used to have a contact lens solution. This is the all-in-one contact lens solution by Tesco. This is the travel size. I think I had this from when we went to Dublin. And I just hadn't got around to using it all up. Um, this is the Tesco's Everyday Cotton Wool Pads. This is what I use to take off my makeup and my nail polish. Another pack of cleansing wipes, must you, maybe, maybe this is from a few months ago because I normally use one of those about every three weeks. Oh, I burnt up another Yankee candle. This was called Christmas Eve. This was really apple -y and cinnamon, but not too cinnamon because I'm really not a fan of cinnamon. I don't like sweet ones and I don't like cinnamon and I think that's what most women tend to go for, but that one was okay. Um, I used up a little Aussie Moist Shower Gel, Shower Gel, Aussie Moist Shampoo. This stuff is so good, but so expensive. They're, I think they're like five pounds for a big bottle, so I normally only get the travel size when I'm traveling, obviously. This must have been the leftovers from when I went to Dublin because I'm just finding miniature products the whole way through. This is the miniature silver can hairspray in firm hold. I'm presuming we took this on holiday. Um, as you all know, I love silver can hairspray. The yellow one or the purple one are my favourites. I used to have a dry shampoo. This is the uh, Batiste dry shampoo in Cool and Crisp. Um, I didn't actually like this one. Um, I couldn't get the brown one, which is what I normally get the dark brown tinted one, and I couldn't find it, so I got this. And I just didn't find it did as good as the brown one or maybe it's just where I've got used to the brown one and having to not rub it in it just obviously just comes out in a nice brown colour but I, I really wanted the brown one and I've repurchased the brown one since but Batiste is really good. I only have a few things left the first thing is the Jules Lovely Scrubbly Body Scrub. I'm throwing this away because I don't know if I'll be able to show you or maybe not. This is look, looks like sand. I don't know if you can see. It feels like sand, it looks like sand, it smells like sand, it's super abrasive when you try and use this. Sorry for the rustling. I mean, it's super abrasive when you want to try and use that in the shower and I just used it twice and I, I feel like I took a layer of my skin off and it didn't even smell nice. I didn't like it. 
I used up an eye cream, this is the Balance Me One Dye Eye Cream, and I got this in a birch box a little while ago, and I thought I'd use this up, and there was actually only like one use left, so I used that a couple of days ago. Um, it was actually really nice, I wouldn't say that I would run out and buy it, because obviously this is a birch box sample, but I did really enjoy it. I used up a serum, and this is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum, uh, Advanced Correcting Serum. I really, really, really like this. This, you seem to, I think I've heard a few other people say, you seem to use this up quite quickly one pump is the perfect amount for your face but i don't know you, i seem to have gone through it really quick and it's about 12 pounds so it's not cheapest i would put this on at night um or sometimes if i was going to do like a heavy face of makeup i would put it on before then whose phone's going off oh it was my phone going off anyway i would probably repurchase this but not right now because i have some other face creams to be using up but this was good so this is the l'oreal skin perfection advanced correcting serum Next up is a nail care item, and it's pretty much impossible to use up a bottle of nail polish, I would say. Uh, there's very rare that anything any, anyone can do it. Normally whites, blacks, top coats and base coats. So this is the Hardware Top Coat by Butter London. Um, I did use all of it pretty much, and then the last little bit I poured into a container. So now I have kind of a hybrid top coat that I'm using at the moment. I really did like this. It was comparable to my Rimmel um, top coat. It was nice and thick. Um, but like I say, this is like £15 if you buy it in a retail, without a retail set, like I bought it in a kit. Um, so the rim is a lot better for the price, but uh, nevertheless, it was good if you see it cheap. Pick it up. Last product is a little mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Now, when I first got this, I did not like it. The hype was not good. I felt that the brush was massive, so I didn't think I was getting a lot of product. So if you say, look at that. The brush is really big, um, and it's not the easiest to do like on the inner side of your eye. Um, but with most things, I tend to like it the thicker that it gets. So with nail polish, like top coats, I love them when they thicken up a little bit, they get a bit of oxygen to it. Same with mascaras. Now it's actually one of those things that I kind of half open it for a day, just to let it get a bit of air, a bit of like thickening up. Because towards the end, I did like it. I wouldn't say, it, I don't know what the description they claim this is meant to do but it's not if this is a natural day eye my phone's going off again no one ever texts me um so this i said this is a really natural eye i wouldn't say it's full exposure from smashbox i've heard it's normally quite a dramatic look but this is just kind of okay and i would never pay full price for it i got it in a set um on black friday and never again so those were my empties for, I don't know, maybe it was for like six, seven weeks. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've used anything or if you have any suggestions for me to, to buy, because I like buying stuff. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.